Hey, what is going on, everybody? This is East Tactics, and I thought I'd make a real quick video. It's a little bit more on the topic of video editing. I thought I'd just create a quick video because a lot of people like to use their iPhones to do editing on their phones. In fact, I do everything on my iPhone. I just think it's convenient, and um, I don't know, something about being able to just kind of do it on the go and not have to sit in a in an office at a desk to like edit stuff. Anyway, iMovie is my current go-to application for editing my movies. While I do plan on kind of exploring new programs for doing mobile video editing, um, currently I use the iMovie app. And the iMovie app is pretty good. I wish there were more features but one of the features specifically that I really wish that iMovie had was a much faster bullet time or a time lapse. You can actually go in and choose a video and then click down here on the bottom left at that symbol that looks like a speedometer and then you can adjust the speed of the video to slow motion or you can go all the way up to the fastest speed which is only two times so why they don't have a feature to go 10 times or 15 times or or 30 times so that you can really speed burst through some of the sections of your video to save time or just to utilize that cool effect so what i'm going to show you today is a way to actually still use your iPhone and pull off this 32 times speed or this really fast time lapse feature. So if you look at the video currently, I have a break right here where I plan on taking this section and doing a time lapse on it. So basically what I'm doing is I'm unscrewing and just kind of taking the lid off and not really um, saying anything important. I just want I, uh, to kind of speed burst through this whole section because I'm taking the battery off and it's just kind of a, a lengthy segment of the video that doesn't really need to be showcased. So I want to speed through it, but I want to speed through it a lot faster. Actually, we're going to go back to about right. Here, we're gonna split it and so this section is the section that I want to be speed but when I go in and hit this the speedometer and turn this all the way up to two times speed now when I play it drop down to a 16 tooth while granted it is faster so yeah it's a beautiful morning this morning finally let it it's nowhere time. near as fast as I want it to be um, so the trick is, in order to get this section of the video to super speed, check this out. You'll notice that you have complete control of this bottom timeline, and if you manually with your finger tap the, this bottom timeline and just kind of scroll, look how fast I'm moving now. much faster, right? So how do you capture that? Well, as many know, you can go into the settings on your phone. So you basically swipe up, hit the record button, and then you'll see that it's currently recording because I'm actually filming this video with that feature. But that blinking red dot is the button you press. As soon as you press that, it'll count down three, two, one, drop the video, and then do this. Scrolling with your finger. Bam, I'm done. Scroll back up, tap that button again, and the video clip will save to your phone's camera roll. Then you simply go into your camera roll by clicking the plus sign here, go into videos, See, that's what it looks like when the video drops. 
Either select all or recently added, either one, it doesn't matter. Then pick the video that uh, is the time lapse, drop it in. Now, then you simply edit out the portions that you that are showing the actions on your camera. So we want it to go to about right there. We'll split it, cut off this end. This is the section that we don't want anymore. Delete that. Now, you simply tap the plus button and zoom in where you don't see the editing stuff. This is the result. So basically that's how you create super fast speed. It's kind of a little workaround. It's not really built into the iMovie app, but it's something you can do from your phone by just simply saving a recording, utilizing that iPhone or iOS innate video recording feature, and then dropping that video into um, the spot where you want it to be. Anyway, that was just a quick uh, kind of video editing tactic that I use quite a bit. So. Hope that was helpful for you. Use tactics, out.